Hi guys, so I just want to show you how to propagate a begonia from a leaf. And honestly, I don't know if this will be very successful because this did come off of a sad, sad begonia, but it still feels really meaty, this leaf. So I think it's going to be able to root. Um, from what I understand, we have to just cut the stem off and make sure you're using a clean blade. I like to use a little razor blade because it's nice and easy and sharp to make cuts. So you just take the stem off. And from what I understand, we just have to make cuts. Let me focus it, guys. Here we go. We just have to make cuts in between these little veins. And each one of these little veins is supposed to make a new plant. So I just like to take my little razor blade and just gonna slice this into little sections. Like little pizza pieces. I'm gonna do one more. So now we have all these little pieces and I don't think that you need rooting hormone. Um, I've propagated a leaf like this before and currently I have only two of the cuttings left and I believe they've rooted down uh, because they're the only two surviving ones after I believe it's been two or maybe three or four months actually since I put the leaves in the dirt and I did not use any rooting hormone so out of a bunch of cuttings two have made it so I think that it's possible to do it without rooting hormone but I think for the sake of experimenting I'm gonna try to use the rooting hormone here to see if I have better success so we're supposed to take a little bit out And, and we're just supposed to dip the tips and maybe just knock them off. I think I'm gonna dip everybody first and then I will put them in the dirt. There we go. And now you just take a little pot with some dirt in it and I'm gonna just gently place these in the dirt. And I'm just using like a, like a well draining soil. Even though this is gonna stay moist, I'm gonna put it inside of a little baggie to help it stay moist. Kind of creating a little greenhouse environment. Not husk there. It's not broken up. So guys, this is one of the ways to propagate begonias. Um, I'm gonna be making another video showing you how to propagate through the rhizomes. Um, I saved a gorgeous, really old begonia. At least it seems to me that it's really old because it has a huge stem on it and. If you like to check out that video, I'll link it somewhere on the screen. Um, but it was a really sad old begonia and as I was taking it out of the pot, this leaf broke off. So I figured that, you know, I could propagate it and get even more plants. <laughs> because I've been on the hunt for this one specifically for so long. And I do have a leaf, like I mentioned before, that's propagating right now um, that a friend gave to me. But it's a very slow process, so I'm very excited to 
um, have gained some cuttings from the plant that I'm going to save. So pretty much, guys, you just stick the tips of the leaves in the dirt like this. And then get a little baggie and I put the date on here so I know how long it's been in there. And just take your plant and you gently put it in here in the little baggie. I hope these guys are in. But I don't want to stick the leaves in too, too far, guys, because I feel like maybe that's why my other leaves got rotten. So I just barely put uh, the little tips in the dirt, and I'm just going to spray it, and I'm going to zip this bag. And if it seems like it's getting too wet, I open it for a little bit during the day, and then I close it back up. But most of the time, there's a little moisture that hangs out in the bag. And I think that's what creates a little greenhouse environment that helps these guys propagate so I'm just gonna give it a nice nice spray I'm gonna give it a nice spray guys because the dirt is dry oh man want to wet most of the dirt so there's you know plenty of moisture in here to keep get these guys going so once you've sprayed you just want to make sure the leaves are standing up can you guys see this I just want to make sure the leaves are standing up and not really leaning on the dirt too much because I think that would make them rot so just putting some extra soil next to them to ensure that they are standing up. There we go. And guys, this is pretty much it. Once you have your little cuttings watered, you just zip the bag. And I like to place mine by the window so it gets plenty of light. And like I said, it kind of creates a little greenhouse environment and it helps them sprout. But it does take a really long time. Let me show you guys my other guy. So this is my previous trial. And I started it in November on November 20th. And as you can see, and I don't really want to open the bag because it's doing so well. I haven't watered it in a long time. In the beginning, I was kind of spritzing it with water more, which I think is why, why the, the leaves rotted so much. So as you can see, I have one, two cuttings left. But I think I'm going to just try to keep this bag closed. I'm going to try not to water it any more than I just did unless I see that there's absolutely no moisture in there. Then I will put some more water in there but I hope that this one will be a little bit more successful than this one I think I kind of over cared for this guy so that's why there's only two leaves left but um wish me luck guys and as soon as I see any growth I will update you thanks for tuning in I hope this was helpful ciao ciao